In this problem, we have a perfectly elastic bounce, meaning that it's energy conserving. So this car with a springy bumper comes in at 2.2 meters per second. It bounces off a wall and comes out at 2.2 meters per second. And we're going to try to find in part A the maximum compression of the spring during the bounce. So it's key here to realize that at the turnaround point, V is equal to zero. That's where our maximum compression is occurring. In terms of energy, it means there's no kinetic energy at that moment. So let's write down energy conservation, E initial equals E final. And I'm taking the top picture as my initial state and the middle picture as my final state for this analysis. And I have 1 half mv squared. All the energy was kinetic in that initial state. There is no spring potential because the spring is relaxed. In the final state, there's no kinetic. And all the energy is in the potential energy of the spring. So there it is. Cancel the 1 halves. And I can solve for x immediately. So I'm going to divide both sides by k and then square root the result. You could pull out the v if you like, but I'm just going to leave it there. mv squared over k. Plug in our numbers and we've got the max compression. So the mass of this guy is 1.75 kilograms. The speed was 2.2 meters per second. We've got to square that. And the spring constant 80 newtons per meter and I get 0.325 meters for the max compression which looks a little nicer if you write it as 32 and a half centimeters. In part B we want the maximum acceleration of the cart during the bounce. So this occurs when the force on the cart is maximum which means it occurs at the maximum compression of the spring. So that's what the spring force looks like pointing to the left and to analyze this, I'm just going to say that I have a leftward pointing coordinate system. So I'm just going to say leftward is positive. And all I'm doing here is using Newton's second law where the force is the spring force. So I can say F equals MA. I could say F net equals MA, but there's only one force to look at. And the spring force is that force. And the magnitude of the spring force is given by KX, so Hooke's law. So my acceleration is quick to solve for. It's just kx over m. That's 80 newtons per meter for k. 0.325 meters for that maximum compression of the spring. And then m is 1.75 kilograms. Crunch the numbers and you get 14.9 meters per second squared. If you find the physics content on Zach's lab helpful, click on the Zach's lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce over 100 new videos per month, and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.